Welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. Today we're going to talk about the Scarex robot, Kamigami Robots. We're going to build it and evaluate it and see what we think about it. Check it out. We have really had a lot of fun with this robot. In fact, we just purchased the Praying Mantis. So there will be another video of the when we get the praying mantis and uh, how they communicate together and battle or whatever and there will be a driveway race so you want to check that out we will post that it'll be awesome and uh we just we love this robot from the simplicity of it it's just you snap it together here the body on top of the chassis and the programming the app is so easy to use very intuitive and uh whether you're using free play on the app and controlling it yourself or building a uh, code to make it do uh, a certain process. Uh, it's very simple, very easy to build. We love the lights and the sound. Uh, very cool. It runs very fast. The only issue that we have with this thing is that on flat surfaces, if it stops abruptly, it'll kind of tip over or it'll rock back and forth if, if you go backwards and stop. So it, it might tip over, but it's not a big deal. It runs very well in carpet. It runs okay on hardwood floor, laminate flooring, and uh, on, on area rugs. It runs, uh, it runs well in concrete outside, but uh, it seems like the best flooring for this would be carpet. So apparently this robot is very durable. We have flipped it over, we've rolled it over, we've ran it into stuff, and it, at most we'll have to straighten the, uh, the arms or the pincers back out here and open them back up, maybe lift the tail back up, but that's not an issue. It still works great. According to the front of the box, apparently this robot has won an Editor's Choice Award. We're going to show you why. This is the Scarax robot, which uh, looks a lot like a scorpion. The same kind of color detail, the same tail, and it's got pincers as well. And uh, this is Kamigami Robots, which I have never heard of, but apparently they have won an award before, so this has got to be uh, a good robot, right? It's for ages 8 and up, and it comes unassembled. You will be assembling it. It looks like it's a fold and snap together type deal. Uh, it looks fairly simple, just from the picture. So here it says construct, code, and compete. So we'll be building it, we'll be coding the robot using an app provided in the Apple Store and the Google Android Store. I purchased this uh, on Amazon and it was uh, $12.62, which is fairly cheap. And it also comes in a beetle form, uh, praying mantis, and ladybug form. Looks like it's got the same type of underbelly there. Just a different theme on top. Down here it says compete. We only have one but you can buy two and they can compete with each other. It says that uh, you can use the app to run, dance, uh, or race, run, race, dance, or battle. And down here it says you can zoom over almost any surface. We will definitely check that one out. We got our robot sheet here, the body. We've got our pins. There, and the charging wire. They do give you a few extra of these pins. And um, if you use them, if you push them through, they look like this right here. As you can see, it's split down the middle and it's unusable again. This one right here is new and it doesn't have the split down the middle. So as you push the pin in, that middle part will pop out and if you pull it back out it's unusable so like I said they do give you a couple extra so that is uh, something you want to keep in mind you're wondering where the instructions are they are actually in the app step number one is to download the app because the instructions are in the app uh, it's, it's, let's see number two is connect to the app and number three is build and then it shows there instructions are in the app once you go into your Google App Store and then you download this one right here, Kamigami Controller, install, and now it'll open. Open the app once it is downloaded. tap to begin. This allows them to have permission to know your location. 
Tap OK. I do everything on my little Samsung pad. And then allow permission to turn on Bluetooth. Why not? It is looking for nearby robots, so it tells me to push this button. New robot connected. So there we go. Now it is connected. And I suppose that I select the one that I have, which is that one. Name your robot. And here are the build instructions. So for the for the build instructions, the instructions are 60 frames or 60 60 pages long here on your tablet. And it gives you video too along the way. They look like really detailed, really good uh, instructions, so we will see how it turns out. After you fold all the legs down, it should look like that right there with the pins in each one holding them outward. I should also say that if dexterity is not your thing, you may want somebody else to do this for you because you need to get into a lot of tight spaces and to hold these together and pinch the, the little pins through. So it just rages eight and up. Any children doing this will need some adult supervision, no doubt. So keep that in mind. So after you've completed all the legs and you've snapped the legs to the white part in there, which is connected to the motor, you will have completed your chassis and should look like this right here. And the next step, let's start with the body. So far I've been pulling the pieces off here and basically following the instructions and pinning them with these little, these little pins here, just like so. Pretty easy so far. We'll see how it goes from here. So far I've made all the folds and connections here for the body. It's just peel and fold. And I'll put it on top of the chassis here and I'll make all the connections with these pins. I seem to run into some static along the way with the microphone, so I apologize. But this is what I have so far. I've just basically uh, peeled off the, um, the body, off the sheet here and uh, folded it and pinned it together with these uh, these little pins and pinned it to the chassis so this is what you will get so this is what we got the next step is to charge it up and see how it does we're going to go outside and get some footage do you think it'll be able to run on the deck maybe yep i think it does it's fast. get back Do dance. Okay. Alright, do you think it'll run in the grass? Maybe. Nope. No, not that fast. Uh, a little bit. If our grass wasn't so high. Yeah, if our grass high. wasn't so high, it probably would. Yeah. What do you think? Do you think I need to cut the grass? Probably not ideal for grass. Alright. Wanna we'll try them again in a different spot? Concrete? All right. Here she comes. All right, do you think it'll run on the concrete? We got an achievement. We did, we got an achievement? Yeah. Which one? Cool, city block. Yeah. There you go. You think I run on concrete? Uh, yep. Yeah, it does pretty good, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. well, I'm kind of supposed to move it fast. Oh, <laughs> that's too bad.
<laughs> wow. That's pretty good on concrete, doesn't it? Oh. This is where we have to have our race. What do you think? Yeah, not a battle. And a battle? Yep, driveway it is. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, bring it back. Bring it back. There you go. Can you change the color on it? And change it again. There you go. And again. You like white? Alright, make it go forward. Whoa, he almost fell over. Did I tell you this thing was awesome or what? This thing flies across pavement. It'll tear up your mulch. It doesn't go in grass very well, but... It'll dance, it'll make sounds, it's got music, you can combine it all together into code and make it do what you want to do. This, this thing's pretty cool for under $13. Can't beat it. And we're excited about the Praying Mantis. We are just checking out the battle features here on the app. Getting the scorpion ready for the big battle uh, when the uh, Praying Mantis arrives. What's the heart do? This is the app as it appears on my tablet. And if you go down here and hit code, you can see that I have a long string of code here. I don't know exactly how long the code can be, but if you come down here and you just, uh, you can drag these uh, different commands up into the string of code and the robot will follow those commands when you run the program. There's also an option for sound and light. And you'll see that when I hit run code. He's following all the commands that I strung together in the proper order. There doesn't appear to be a repeat for the code, so if you want to run it again, you have to tap uh, Run Code. There is also a Dance option, and if you click Dance, you can go into here, and if you hit this circular ball looking thing here, it'll do a very short dance with music. And there's another symbol that looks like an infinity sign, and you hit that, and he will dance a little bit longer. They have also included what sounds like a pre-programmed country hoedown. If achievements are your thing, there are 12 achievements to earn and you get them as you play with the robot. You can just simply guide the robot around using the, the big circle on the left side, uh, back, forward, left, right, and all that. Or you can go to somewhere like uh, Battle and you can there's an option to touch a zapper and it looks and sounds like the uh, robot is shooting a zapper gun maybe uh, i don't know how it interacts with other robots yet but we will soon find out there's also an option for um, a heart i don't know exactly uh, what that does uh, as it pertains to other robots but uh, this is what it sounds like and there's also an option for a shield. It looks like a shield. I don't know what that does, but uh, it sounds pretty cool. Well, guys, if you haven't done so, make sure you follow the channel so you can see our future videos. And as always, thank you for watching. I hope this was informative to you, and I hope to see you again.